I went three years without ever having canceled a single sortie due to any mechanical function on the Robinson. Our aircraft fly day after day, six days a week, six times a day. It's an incredibly reliable platform, incredibly efficient to operate, easy to maintain. The Army is gonna find that the R-66 is just a dream. The Robinson R66 being made in America makes it an ideal and affordable platform for the United States Army. If you're relying on some other subcontractor to make the part and they have a labor problem or a material problem, then that problem translates down to you. If there's one hiccup, the helicopter's grounded. But with Robinson, they're manufacturing within 60 miles of their headquarters here in Torrance. The Robinson factory is truly what supply chain resiliency looks like. They cut out their own products. They machine their own products. They rebuild their own products. They assemble their own products. A piece of raw steel can come in. They can make a bunch of parts out of that material. And Robinson knows where every part that was made out of that piece of material went and which aircraft has it and where it's located in the world. Student pilots don't do the maneuver correctly the first time and then every time after that. So the helicopter certainly has to be durable. This is the biggest challenge that military training units have. When a pilot has to break training because aircraft aren't available, they just become a far less capable pilot. The Rolls-Royce 300 and the R66, it's a very reliable engine. Nothing ever wears out. When we bring the helicopter in for overhaul, when they disassemble it, the comment from the technicians is, this could have gone another 2,000 hours. I don't think there's another helicopter manufacturer that produces the same quality for the cost. Product support and parts supply are second to none. And I think what the Army will find is that the initial acquisition cost, the ongoing maintenance cost, the hourly costs, they're never going to see a platform that touches the Robinson. The R-66 helicopter, with its Made in America attributes, make it an aircraft that the U.S. Army can rely on for decades. A more reliable aircraft builds a better pilot. A better pilot builds a better warrior, and a better warrior can defend this nation against any threat that it faces. Please welcome Lieutenant General Retired, Doug Gabriel. Hey, how are we doing? Hey, just, can we tighten it up in the back? Come on. You're on the side if you can't see. There you go. Hey, first off, I, I really want to welcome everybody to our joint booth. M1 Support Services, Helicopter Institute, and Robinson Helicopters. This is really exciting. As a senior aviator, the experience of being involved with this joint team and what we can bring to the force with efficiency and cost reduction is really exciting. So we'll have a short presentation here. And then remember, after that, we're going to bring Corey Smith, known as Lloyd from Yellowstone. He's behind the curtain. So we're going to bring him out, and you can talk and, and have autographs and such. But it's my distinct privilege, first, to introduce the CEO President of M1 Support Services, Mr. George Kriegel. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Flight School First. I'm George Crevo, CEO and Chairman of M1 Support Services, a Cerberus company. Thank you for coming here today to see the future of flight training for the U.S. Army. M1 stands for Mission First. We put our customers' mission first. We live that ethos every day, sustaining large training, training fleets all across the Department of Defense. Air Force, Army, and most importantly, Fort Novacell, Alabama. Our Army is transforming in contact, including a new approach to training for future generations of Army aviators. It's time to reinvent flight training, leverage new technologies, adopt innovative approaches to training, and leverage commercial best practices. Flight School Next demands a revolution in how we train. M1 has partnered with 
Helicopter Institute and Robin Hel Heli Robinson Helicopters to develop the optimal turnkey solution for Flight School Next. M1 brings deep experience in operating and sustaining large and complex fleets. Cerberus Capital Management brings access to $65 billion in capital ready to be deployed. Helicopter Institute brings unrivaled excellence in initial flight training for Army and Naval Aviation, with proven results today, including the Navy's copter program. Robinson brings the TH-66 aircraft, affordable, rugged, and easily maintained, the perfect airframe to safely learn fundamental pilot trick skills. American-made with an American supply chain, produces Army aviators ready for transition to advanced aircraft. Together, we can more effectively train Army aviators to the highest standards so they're ready, ready to safely accomplish their mission. I'll be followed by Mr. Randy Rolls, the president of Helicopter Institute, and then David Smith, the CEO, president of Robinson. Thank you all for coming today. Mission first. Thank you, George. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Quad A 2025. What a great opportunity to stand before you today. My name is Randy Rolls. I'm the president of Helicopter Institute out of Fort Worth, Texas. And we're proud here today to introduce this aircraft, this team. And I want to give you a little history of how we got here. So the first thing is flight school next. When they brought that up and said, okay, what's next? Army Aviation has a tremendous, long, proud history. And for us to go flight school next, we have to, we gotta talk about what flight school first. And that was my focus. Back 1956 to 1973, you got Fort Walters, Texas. 46,000 pilots trained through there, 5.6 million flight hours. So the first thing I did, I went to my board of advisors. They were all instructors and students at that time. And I went to them and I said, what are we doing different today that you did then? And the first thing they did, they went back and graded the documentation, the instructor handbooks, what would turn into the ATMs of today. And we started there. And then I moved forward to 1994 and I went to the TH-67. And I took the TH-67 ATM and I broke that down. And I went back and I literally went back to our competitor with Bell and I said, hey, I would love to have the TH-67 back. And they said, well, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the 505. Well, I have the 505. And I have that aircraft, I have the 66. And I took the time to go out with my staff and fly the ATM of the TH-67. Look at how they did things at Fort Walters. And I came with a very simple, singular solution as an operator. We fell in love with the TH-66 helicopter, which we did not coin that. My, my board of advisors, the folks from the days of Fort Walters, those folks that I take my leadership from and that I that mentor my career, and they said, Randy, it's a training helicopter, it's the R-66, you should, you should call it that, it deserves it. And we did. This is the TH-66 Sage aircraft, and you say, what is Sage? Well, it's knowledge, wisdom, experience. And that call sign came from my staff. So the TH-66 Sage is an aircraft that we are extremely proud to introduce to you. We do that in a long-standing understanding and honor of Army Aviation. And when we come back to say flight school first, it's come full circle. We started at the beginning, we went through the middle, and today we introduce you to what is effective, it's working, and it is the curriculum that's gonna take you back to the proud days of what you want Army Aviation to be. And so to introduce this aircraft, I would like to show you a quick video of the TH-66, the Robinson R-66 helicopter. Thank you. For the next Army helicopter trainer, we need a helicopter designed to give the flight student the basic fundamental skills to fly. The Robinson R66 is a workhorse. It's an excellent trainer. It has immediate responses. It flies like a sports car drives. It's small enough to be sensitive enough to build these instinctive pilot skills that are absolutely critical to a brand new pilot. If you can fly a Robinson helicopter, you'll probably be able to fly just about any other helicopter.
It's better to learn how to fly a helicopter when you have to manage your power available. If you have excess power available, you don't truly learn how to fly. Because someday, students are going to be in a Black Hawk, or they are going to be on a Chinook, and they are going to be loaded up to gross weight, and they're going to have to learn how to fly and make ease of adjustment changes to collective power, to throttle, to cyclic. They have to learn that. And when you're learning the basics of aviation flight, the cockpit gauges and flight instruments, they're important. In this particular case, the student will be dealing with these technologically advanced avionics from day one. The R66 is operating with the G500 Garmin 1060i and Garmin 750 Navcom radio. In military units, they're not typically equipped with or using ADSB, which is a traffic collision avoidance system. And the Army can benefit from that ADSB already being a part of the R66 because now their instructors see all the civilian traffic in and around their training areas. With helicopters, everything is about precision. It's about small, minute changes to make the aircraft do what you want it to do. And the instructor can feel exactly what the student's doing with a T-bar cyclic. One of the issues that you can have in a dual cyclic aircraft is sometimes there's confusion over who's actually flying the aircraft. When you're flying a T-bar, there's absolutely no mystery of who's flying. In a critical situation, because of the T-bar cyclic, the instructor can pull down on the cyclic, and that takes the grip out of the student's hand in an upward motion. And now the instructor has immediate control all by himself and can correct any kind of a flight situation. The R66 is the best trainer that I've ever flown in, and it is the best helicopter that I could imagine for the new flight school. I think the Robinson R66 strikes this perfect balance between control sensitivity, aircraft durability, the size of the aircraft, stability of the aircraft, and the sophistication of the avionics to make the Robinson R66 perfect U.S. Army basic trainer. It's the best in the industry for training. But anybody that's really doing the math and looking at the long-term viability of training is going to conclude that the R66 is the choice. Please welcome President and CEO of Robinson Helicopter, David Smith. Good morning, everybody. Uh, great to see everybody here at Quad A 2025. First, I want to extend a huge thank you to George and the M1 team, uh, also Randy and the Helicopter Institute team, uh, great partners in the Flight School First effort. I also want to thank our incredible team at Robinson Helicopter that's made today possible, as today we unveil the future Army's next initial entry road moving trainer and the Flight School First solution. The objective of Flight School Next is clear to make better Army aviators, period. And we believe we have the solution. The R-66 is the helicopter that will best prepare future aviators with the fundamental flight skills to fight and win our nation's wars. This year is the 15th anniversary of the R-66. Since its initial certification, we've delivered over 1,500 R-66s. The R-66 has found applications around the world in agriculture, training, airborne law enforcement, and utility. This rugged aircraft consistently outperforms expensive foreign competitors. The updated helicopter in our booth is equipped with multiple increases in safety and technology and capability while maintaining the back-to-basics fundamentals that will equip our future Army aviators with the core flight skills essential for effective U.S. Army initial rotary wing training. The aircraft here comes standard with an all-glass cockpit provided by Garmin. It provides increased situational awareness and better advanced aircraft packet transfer. A three-axis Garmin advanced flight control system provides enhanced safety features like limit queuing, single button level mode, overspeed and underspeed protections, and low G mitigations. The advanced avionics and flight control system allow the R-66 to be certified for instrument flight rules. RHC is confident that the R-66 IFR configuration 
will be superior in mission readiness over current or prospective training helicopters. This aircraft also features our signature polycarbonate windows, capable of withstanding a 2.2 pound bird at cruising speeds. Now the robustness of the Robinson training aircraft are unmatched. They perform more full down auto rotation training on a daily basis than any other aircraft in the industry. They also integrate a fully modular, modulated twist grip throttle for effective training of fixed, fixed pitch setting maneuvers and other Series 1000 tasks. Now for the past 52 years, Robinson helicopters have been built entirely in America. RHC is not only a, true, a truly American helicopter manufacturer, but we're also the most vertically integrated manufacturer with over 80% of our components built in our Torrance factory. This translates into best in industry quality, cost, and parts availability. It'll minimize downtime and minimize maintenance costs, increase operational availability, and more efficiently graduate new U.S. Army aviators. The design is simple and efficient with robustness that will prove to graduate more combat-ready and effective aviators with more stick and rudder skills at a more affordable price point. Now, I'd like to invite you to take a closer look at the new Robinson R66 training helicopter. Like Terry said in the video, reliable aircraft make a better pilot, a better pilot builds better warriors, and a better warrior to defend this nation from any threat that it faces. Thank you.